to a finish later on this afternoon. But uh, firstly, let's head for the third session of the semi-final between Stephen Hendry and Jimmy White. 8-7, remember, at the moment, in Stephen Hendry's favour. Commentary comes from John Spencer and from Clive Everton. 7 undid him completely in terms of concentration that lead being reduced by close of play by Jimmy White 20 to 8-7 start by Hendry so far. Twenty-nine. Thunderous kick. <coughs> Position ruined. <coughs> Thirty-six. 
slipped in the black very thin and now I open the bunch Thirty-seven. I was going to say that uh, the kick could have ended up working in his favour but uh, he's finished straighter than he would like on the black bridging over a red pink to middle the better positional option Stephen Henry 37 but the pot itself a shade more difficult The easier red is the one in the left corner. Jimmy's had a good look. Oh, well, what do you think? <coughs> Difficult to say, touch another red. Sometimes they can kick off the red next to it, or Jimmy's taking no chances. This is a tricky little shot, though. Not in a direct line with the corner pocket. Really his first chance of the morning. One. Wanted to screw out further to leave blue straightish to the middle. See Jimmy potting this black and going to that little cluster now of four. Well, he's not doing. Playing for the red in the middle of the table. Not quite hard enough. Twelve. What an interesting choice of shot that last one. I think on many occasions. White would have had that cue ball into the bunch of reds. Thirteen. <laughs> well, as we say, Clive, this is his first chance of the morning, so maybe just make it certain that the cue's going through straight. And it certainly looks as though it is so far. Seventeen. towards the corner. seeking. Can't get into the bunch of the straight black. He needed to leave the pot about three quarter ball. Top red to middle. Must go.
33. 34. This time he does have the angle. Could have been better. Tricky red into the right centre. Hold that's on. But what a confidence boost it would be if Jimmy White could clear up at this visit. Stephen Henry got in first. Missed a pink in the middle. And if Jimmy could show him that he's in the kind of form that could punish those mistakes, the ultimate. What a psychological boost this frame could be. Jimmy White, 41. <coughs> White's right, unlucky that uh, the red rebounded from the middle pocket jaw. Exactly that angle. Straight red to the middle for Hendry. Stephen looking on the left hand side of the table for these two reds, to get there he's going to have to play a little bit of side on this cue ball, so it's not just a straightforward pot. Eight. Hendry's turn to be unlucky, only two reds, he can't into them. Neither is potable. <coughs> yeah, thick with tension as this opening frame approaches its resolution. Stephen Hendry, eight. to the side cushion just a roll up to the pink one Jimmy White but that snooker could give him the advantage now in this safety exchange which will decide this first frame of the morning this frame, all the four frame lead that he had at one time yesterday afternoon will have gone. Luke went for the ball pocket, hit the jaws, hit the cue ball again, red in middle, cue ball on the black but also on the side cushion. One, Jimmy White. That was tough. Yes, and that bit of luck, fluke in the red, could have cost Jimmy White this frame. I think if it had potted it normally and finished there, 
I think he may have not taken on the black and played the snooker. He had an easy safety, put all his eggs in one basket. The yellow wriggle safe and white may be in a snooker. A run of the ball so important in this sort of exchange. You play out of a snooker and you can leave the object ball safe or you can leave a pot on. This is on for Hendry but it's a tough one. It's not only a tough pot but the position of the pink and black. He could even snooker himself if he stunned over to the side cushion. And when there's work to be done with the cue ball it makes the pot that little bit more difficult. He has an easy safety. He did go for the pot. He missed it by an awful long way. Chance now for Jimmy White. level. Five. White needs to clear up to and including the pink. Yes and that pink not ideally situated so a lot will depend now on position from brown to blue. missed but once he'd lost position hasn't worked out too badly well applause and it's safe but Stephen caught a lot thinner that blue than he intended his heart must have been in his mouth for a fraction on the pink will win the frame. Only just avoided the kiss but that was how he played the shot making sure the blue remained in the middle of the table. For Hendry Stand now. Down, Blue, pink, and black needed.
18 in the first. Yeah, thick with tension in that opening frame of the day. But Jimmy White has lost it. Stephen Hendry has won it to reopen a two frame gap at 9 7. shot than it looked. Eight. Nine. Well, being left-handed, this is a little bit awkward for Jimmy. Going to use the rest. Two reds in line on the right hand side, he just wanted to cannon the right hand side of them, leave a red in the left corner, but caught it much too full. after that he knew that he was leaving a red for Hendry to the left corner knows there's an opportunity for a frame winning break here.
Mr. Bunch. 38. But uh, applied the shot, I think, in the certain knowledge that if he did, there were two reds available. greatest friend is just a, such a confident potter realised that uh, to get good position he had to play the blue in the far left corner never even thought about it potted it clean as a whistle when Jimmy White played that risky red into the far right corner he knew he was leaving a red for Stephen Hendry Tell him he knows that you leave him just one red. That could be a last shot in that frame. And that's broken really nicely 52. for Stephen. He can get to the bottom one of the three in line, into the right corner. Looks like end of frame. 53. These are the sort of situations that Hendry practices so hard for all year. Not just to groove his action, 60. but to ingrain himself the correct thing to do at all times. 61. Example of that a few shots ago was the blue that he took on to Bork Pocket. 68. Sixty-nine. And having regained perfect position from that, he's going to take this frame. Seventy-four. Seventy-five. Eighty-two. Well, Jimmy. The last three frames yesterday started to queue as well as he's done in the championship and he doesn't look to be queuing bad this morning. But your problem is, 83. you give him one chance and your queuing action is not much good while you're sat in your chair. his fourth century of the match coming up 105 to lead 5-3 at the end of the opening session 99 119 and 147 in consecutive frames yesterday 
114. Stephen Hendry goes three frames clear. He leads Jimmy White by ten frames to seven. short with his safety for once. One. You're right John, I think Jimmy White can do it if he gets the chance. Hit that long red and screw back very cleanly but he's not getting enough chances. Six. Yes, no matter how good Stephen Hendry is, of course, once you go to the table, he can't stop you playing. And his safety play is not that strong. But as you say, it's just one chance, because if you do miss and Seven. leave him with a red, a red on, then... Uh, that's all he needs. Certainly if Jimmy White gets the chances, I think he's going to take them. 13. That's the disappointment of losing the first frame this morning, which he may have felt he had every chance to win. Above the blue would have been much better. a helpful flick off the brown. He wouldn't have been there without it. Six. <clears throat> 
37. Well, maybe having to nudge you a couple of reds about here. Unless there's one that goes. Obviously there is. The problem is for Jimmy though, the black is only available into the right corner. 44. Unless he can pot a red and run through to the left hand side of the table, he can't get on the black. Forty-five. He can get on the blue, and that's come perfect. Great Q power. Fifty. Little shake of the head there from Jimmy. He wanted to be straight on this red to run through for the black. He may have to go up for the blue. But he knows it's okay going up for the blue as long as you get the right angle. A slight problem. There you see, if it had been straight on this red that he's playing, formality to get on the black. They do a lot of work with a cue ball and a problem. Only the yellow really to play if he wants to keep the break going. Yellow ball. Surely it's not, it's not snookered him. It may have done. Well, if it has, that's so unlucky. Got a red into the right centre, but you compare the difficulty of the two shots. That little kick has put pressure back on Jimmy. Just needs a red and a colour, but has to call it a draw there, and that's a poor safety. Didn't want to dislodge the pink and brown. He was unlucky there, but for the kick on the black, he was a certainty for that frame. Two points in front, still a possible 67 left on the table. Don't think potting the brown is of any advantage, just puts him 66 in front, one point short. Yellow ball. Or just playing the safety, maybe trying to put the yellow safe. One, Jimmy White. Nothing wrong with that.
Stephen's best safety shots this morning. Keeping the pressure on. Jimmy White won't get this frame without having to work hard for it now. He went for game there. But here comes the Hendry counter attack. Snookered himself on the black. Yes, there's 67 points available, or 66 is, or well, 65 now, if he takes the blue. So you never know, he might get to a stage off one of these reds, he's going to have to play for a big colour, which wouldn't be the normal Six. positional shot now. But certainly a chance. There you see it. 56 behind, 59 on the table. Not many Seven. points to play with. for the more difficult red and the brown has rescued Jimmy White you would say and made it really awkward for Stephen and remember Jimmy White still only needs one red so I'm only going to hit this got to get it safe 14, Jimmy may ahead. try to slot this along the bolt cushion played at the right pace it could be a shot for nothing, and only the red required. Thought he'd play it with a little more strength than that, even though the brown was offering a measure of protection. Yes, unless Clive, he thought he was going to get the snooker behind the brown. I can't believe he played at that speed. Looks as though Stephen can well get through direct. Obviously having to play cushion first. One. Nicely on the pink. So another chance for Stephen Hendry. This is a big frame now. Needs to take pink from this red if he's to win the frame. Blue from this red would leave him able only to tie. on the table, 34 points behind, so he can win by one. 15. And as a nice angle on the black, I'm certain he'll try and move the yellow. No, nope. decided to leave himself the, lo the long yellow in the left corner. Well, this is a tough shot. particularly into pockets as severely as these.
that made it look so easy. Well, it's never touched the side, has it? Incredible pot. Twenty-seven. Well, I wonder what Jimmy White must be thinking. It's going to be a body blow if he loses this frame. He did have some bad luck, a kick when he was well in with 61 and uh, on the brink of clinching the frame. Thirty-one. Later he made a dubious shot selection on the third last red and we're now seeing the result of that. Thirty-six. Forty-two. Stephen Hendry steals the frame on the black with a 49 clearance and now leads Jimmy White by 11 frames to 7. And psychologically that must be a real blow for Jimmy White who now trails once again by four frames. The world champion requiring just five more to make his way through to the final again. We'll be back with frame 19 of this intriguing semi-final immediately after the news.